Hi, this is Vanessa from Shutter Mag, and in this month's edition, I challenged you to go off the beaten path and take a hard, close look at the way you look at your fellow photographers. I'm hoping to spark a little bit of change in the photography community, and if you're a fellow Shutterfester, I know that this change has already occurred with us. We are all pretty good at lending a hand and looking at each other with admiration and respect, and kudos to you if you're a part of the Shutterfest community and you know exactly what I'm talking about. In this video, I wanted to encourage you and give you ways that you can reach up and reach down. If you don't know what that is, make sure that you check out this month's article of Shutter Mag. If you are a photographer that wants to reach up and connect with the photographer more successful than you, learn from them, here are some tips. Don't send a blanket email to everyone. We know it's generic and we pretty much just hit delete because we figure, hey, someone else is going to answer probably and he sent this to, I don't know, a hundred photographers. Respect the time of the person you are contacting, not only their time, but their experience. They don't know you anything. Don't be mad if they don't con you know, they don't answer all of your questions and don't be upset if they tell you, hey, I have to charge for my time. Respect that. They obviously have something that you want and hey, maybe they can charge for it. If you're going to write a question, please write a question that doesn't require a novel to answer. So write a question that can be answered via email or text or however you contacted them. Offer to invest in them. Offer to take them out for coffee if you can't afford a mentoring session. Offer to take them out for dinner uh, in a non-creepy way, of course. But make sure that they understand that you do value their time because I'm sure you do, right? <laughs> Now, if you are a photographer that has had people reach to you and ask you for information, here are some ways where you can be a gracious host or a gracious photographer. Be nice. This is not a time to throw your ego around and be mean to anyone who's trying to contact you. Yes, they might be trying to grab a piece of you, but you know what? Hey, you're successful and you can teach other people. After all, someone helped you at some point. If you do have somebody who asks you a question, don't just write them off. And if you have someone that asks you a lengthy question, I know it can be daunting when you get those emails to just, I don't have time for this and you click delete. Take a moment, write a quick one sentence answer, even if it's just one sentence, something that you can address with them and then say, hey, I don't have time for this and I do offer mentoring sessions. Uh, if you want to go any further in depth that way, you are not wasting your time because I'm not encouraging you to waste time or take away, not a waste of time, but take away time from the things you are getting paid for, time from your friends and family. I want you to respect yourself, your knowledge, your time and expertise as well. If you're in a place where you are a successful photographer, please pass that on. Mentor somebody, take someone on for a year and maybe you only meet with them a handful of times pro bono, by the way, I'm not saying try to find somebody to pay you for it, but pass on that knowledge. You have a wealth of information and someone or a multitude of people helped you get to where you are. No one is an island. And I think it's our job as photographers who are experienced and successful to pass that on to other generations of photographers. I hope I will see you all next month here in Shutter Mag. And if I saw you at Shutterfest. Can't wait till next year.